you know, women have long hair. Like, literally nobody knows why. It's completely pointless. Like, there's yeah. maybe some sort of, like, social history of it. But, like, by doing... By having long hair, you signify that you are a woman. Um, and and it's like, you, that, that, that organ, like, no hair is not really an organ, but, like, that organ is fulfilling its social purpose to... To, to mean something. Um, but they're also saying um, a little bit further down, um, actually on the same page, that um, the, that it always happens through the connection. Um, so they're, they're giving an example with the, the lip, breast, and, um, and actually this is, a, this is a really good bit here actually. Um, so they say, for example, the prehensile hand implies a relative deterioration not only of the front paw, but also of the locomotor hand. And then the sentence after is, the breast of the woman with her upright posture indicates a deterioration of the animal's mammary gland, the mouth of the child, the bone with lips by the outfolding of the mucous membranes, marks a deterioration of the snout and the mouth of the animal. So, uh, like... It's kind of like it sounds a super stupid natural, but if you try to like think of examples, it's really useful because it's trying to connect how these how certain organs have the same function but are coded differently. So it's a deterioration because um, um, like female breasts are coded differently than. Um, an animal's teeth, and like it, a cow's udder. Yeah, like a cow's udder, for instance. Yeah, um, and and it has, but it serves the same function. So it's trying to explain how, like, it develops to kind of from from a certain process of territorialization, which is like biological. So the need for milk, um, mm -hmm. then it became.